Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to program these little AT Tiny 45 or AT Tiny 85 chips using an Arduino Uno as the ISP. So, first off, you'll need a computer with internet access, the Arduino Uno, the little AT Tiny chip, a breadboard. I like to have a separate little mini breadboard that I can program these chips on and then move the chip over into my circuit. Uh, after I have it programmed, uh, just in case I have to mess with the code and keep changing it and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, you'll need a capacitor uh, of a value greater than 10 microfarads. Uh, I think that one's 100 microfarad, but it doesn't really matter as long as it's over 10. And just some jumper wires. So anyway, first off, we'll go ahead and take our little AT Tiny chip and plug it into the breadboard. Uh, if you can't see it, pin one is this pin right here just to give you some idea there uh, so first off we'll go ahead and hook up power and ground to this so it's a little difficult working around the camera to see what pins I'm plugging these into but that looks like 5 volts and ground and then ground should be on pin 4 and power on pin 8 alright so next we're going to take these four wires and we're going to use pins 13 down to 10 on the Arduino here. And I'll just hook all these up first since I have different colors of wire. Uh, but pin, pin number 10 will go to pin number 1 on the IAC over here. And that is for the reset pin. It's actually what that's doing on the IAC. Uh, pin number 11 goes to 5, 12 goes to 6, and 13 goes to 7. Alright, so we have the wiring set up. Uh, for now, I'm actually going to take this uh, chip back out of here because we don't really want it in there yet. We need to uh, upload the code to this Arduino first for the uh, Arduino as ISP. Uh, in order to get that to work. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so first off, we'll go to Arduino.cc and click on this little download thing here. And we'll get the current version of the Arduino IDE installed, which is 1.6.8 right now. Uh, so anyhow, I've already got it downloaded. I'll go ahead and install it here. There we go. All right, so we'll go ahead and run that file. There we go. And the this is pretty simple. You most likely already have this installed, but they have been updating it quite a bit recently. I've noticed. Uh, but anyhow, the next thing we'll have to do is install the board files for the AT Tiny chips, so I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Alright, so as for uh, getting the actual board files to uh, or into the Arduino IDE, there's a nice article by hilotech.org here, uh, but you're going to take this URL, you're going to copy that and come over here, and somewhere in here there's preferences. And down here, the additional boards manager URL, you're just going to copy paste that into here. So, anyway, that was already in there as you can see. And then click on OK. And then at that point, you can come up here and go to Tools. And then it'll be Board and Boards Manager. And toward the bottom here, you'll see this AT Tiny one, and there'll be a little install button over here that you can click on. And that will uh, install the package for it. All right, so after you have that installed, you might have to restart the program. But if you go into board and then come down here, you should have AT Tiny microcontrollers. All right, so getting the uh, Arduino ISP sketch onto your Arduino is pretty simple. You just go into uh, examples and then Arduino ISP, and Arduino ISP is the file name. We'll come up here and this will have to be set to the Arduino Uno, which is in here somewhere, right there. And we'll go ahead and plug that in. And 
to upload it. All right, there we go. So that's uploaded. So we're done with that now, and now I'll go back over to the uh, table and we'll plug in our AT Tiny chip. All right, so now that we have that set up, we'll go ahead and plug in the AT Tiny chip here. Pin one will align with that blue wire in my case. We'll just plug this into the breadboard. And the last thing we'll have to do is take this capacitor. Uh, the positive side of it will go into the reset pin and the negative side just goes to ground. So that'll plug in just like that. And what that does is it keeps this chip from resetting when you start uh, to program or try to program this chip. So anyway, we'll go ahead and just upload the blank sketch onto this or something. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and just upload the blank sketch onto this uh, little AT Tiny. So we're going to go into basics and blink. Now obviously we don't have the internal LED on our AT Tiny chip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set these to uh, pin 4 and then uh, with this we're going to have to uh, set our tools and then this thing that says programmer you're going to set it to Arduino as ISP. Make sure you don't have it set as Arduino ISP, but it needs to be Arduino as the ISP. So, anyway, that's set. And then we'll go ahead and plug in our USB connection. And the last thing you'll do is just make sure that you're set on whatever type of AT Tiny you're using. So, down here in uh, board, set that on AT Tiny. The processor in my case is an AT8085, and I've got it set up with a 1 megahertz internal clock. So, anyway, on the right COM port selected. And then you're going to hit sketch, and then it's uploading using programmer, or you can hit control shift U for the hotkey here. And then that'll take a second to upload. And that's done. And we should be able to run the uh, blink sketch off of this. If I plug in our USB cable, at this point the uh, Arduino Uno is just here for power. And we should be on for a second and off for a second. So there we go. Go ahead and take a look at this. So I can actually show you the uh, where this is hooked up at. You can see that pin there doesn't have any connection to the uh, Arduino Uno at all. So, anyway, there's the little blink sketch on your AT Tiny uh, 85 in this case, or AT Tiny 45 if you want to use that. The only difference between the two is that the 85s have a little bit more program space in them, actually twice the program space, and uh, they cost a little bit more money because of that. Uh, but in most cases, you can probably get away with a 45. But anyway, these little AT Tiny chips are really nice because they're cheap. They go from about a dollar fifty to maybe two dollars and fifty cents, depending on where you're buying them from, um, and how many of them you uh, buy. If you buy them in bulk, you can get them cheaper. All right, so I'll provide links in the descriptions for the pinout of the AT Tiny, which will include what you can use the pins for and how the uh, Arduino IDE recognizes the pins provide the link where you can download the Arduino IDE and it'll also provide the link to the high low tech article which uh, basically explains everything that I did in a written uh, just a written website there uh, but that's also where you need to get the link to put in your board uh, boards manager file on the uh, IDE so anyway guys uh, that's it for programming these little AT Tiny chips. I kind of figured I should make a video about this since I am starting to get quite a few projects that are using these chips uh, on my channel. So I'll put some links in the description for videos on how I use these chips in the past. Uh, but anyway, that's about it for now, guys. Bye.